this is code.org. So we already have a bunch of a game, a bunch of a game, right? I think you know what I mean, right? We already have all of this. If you don't, go back and do the other lessons. So let's see what we're doing here. Create your player, finally. Now you can create your player sprite, just like the item sprites. The player sprite will fall from the top of the screen. Unlike the items, your player sprite will get faster as it falls, just like real falling objects. Oh, poor guy. Um, this is what allows it to jump up and fall back down. Do this. Use the create sprite block to make the player sprite with the label and starting position that you put on your worksheet. Yes, that worksheet that your teacher handed out and you filled out. If you don't have it, we'll work through this together, but you should keep track of your papers. As a teacher, if you're my student, I hope you have your paper. Um, so, anyways, animation. Uh, that's our animation, right? Now, code. So, use the create sprite block to make your... Okay. So, we are headed over to create sprites, which is here. I'm going to drop it beneath all the stuff we already have. Star 1, star 2, yep. I'm going to go over to show text just for a second because I want to space out the code so it's easier to read. And then I'm going to name this block player. And for now, for now, I'll put leave it right there. But we do not want Y to be 200. That would be the middle of the screen. So X at 200 is good. That's the center, right? X 200 like here-ish, okay? But Y 200 is here. We want to start at the top. So that's going to be, as you wrote on your paper, I'm going to set that to um, zero. Now, set animation. Alien. And we don't have a variable named sprite. We named ours player. Right, set animation. Create the create a fall, a player fall function that makes the sprite fall from the top of the screen. The code inside the function should use velocity y in a counter pattern, which we know how to do now, just as when you are falling when you made the falling rock in lesson 17 14. So if you want a refresher, we can click on that. But I do remember it. So we need the creative player fall function. So I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom here. And to create a function, I go to functions, grab this, drop it here. I'm going to go to show text again just to separate out my code so it's easier to read. Okay. And we're going to name it just like they have there player ball with a capital F and we don't capitalize the first letter of functions only the first letter of new words because function titles just like variable names function names can't have spaces function at the inside the function you uh, use okay so we need the velocity y so what we're going to do then is we're going to go over to variables and we need a equals because the sprite dot velocity y uh, property is like a variable. So a property velocity y is the sprite's velocity y. It is a variable just for that sprite. So we're going to use it here. And instead of sprite, my sprite's name, well, is player. And then we want it to slowly go up. Do they tell us by how much? No. So... I would assume one is too much, but I'm going to start with one. Let's use addition, right? Because we're increasing it. Uh, because if velocity is positive for y, you go down faster. Um, I need my sprite again, because we're going to set it equal to velocity y, velocity y, and then plus one. Now, the reason I am setting it like this, that is going to make, when this function is run, the computer is going to say, okay, what's the player velocity right now? All right, add one to that. Now that's the new player velocity. And then it goes back around. Okay, what's the player velocity now? Oh, well, it was one. We'll add one to that. And now velocity is two. So it adds, it copies over the old one, adds one, and replaces that old value. Let's just see. We should have said it already, though. The code inside the function should use the velocity y. I think they're going to go way too fast. Oh, we never call this. So our sprite's not moving because we never ask it to run this function, the player fault function. 
we have to call the function. Functions do not run unless you ask them to, other than the draw function or draw loop. Um, so I'm going to call it here in the draw loop. Let's try now. Vroom. Is that too fast? Let's try again. Uh, it looks pretty similar to theirs. All right, so call, run the code. Great, I think we got it. So the code I added is way down here. That was what we needed after we created the sprite. All right, so I used that to make the sprite drop. Player fall function, I called it here, and then I created this sprite here. Awesome. Forward. 